The arrival of the 904 GTS was obviously a sensation for me as a Porsche fan. Already back then, Porsche wanted to show it can bridge the gap between long-distance capability and sportiness, and the 904 GTS is a natural byword for that ability. GTS stands for Gran Turismo Sport. Gran Turismo cars were vehicles that were very sporty and equally suited for long-haul travel. It was my great luck that I was privileged to have such a car for numerous races, and everything I had hoped for came true. A really incredibly superb car. The design came from F.A. Porsche. If you look at its shape, you'll find it to be one of the best looking cars ever to be built. In 1981, the 924 Carrera GTS made its debut as an even sportier version. Porsche approached me and said, you know what, you could race the 924 GTS for us. We want to show it to a full-bred racer, also a great car for everyday use. Following the 924 GTS, Porsche had another car bearing the GTS letters, the 928 GTS. It was built between 1992 and 1995 as the final evolutionary step of the 928. When I joined Porsche in 1993, I asked my colleague Hans-Joachim Stuck which company car I should take. He replied that I should go for the 928 GTS, the best car there was. The next time the three letters GTS appeared on a Porsche was on the Cayenne. The assignment had been to make the sportiest off-roader by any comparison, and that's what it became. The idea behind the KN GTS from 2007 was to position a sporty derivative between the KNS and the KN Turbo. For us at Porsche, the first KN GTS really sounded the starting gun, to roll out the GTS concept also to the other model lines. The second generation had even more power. It switched from a V8 aspirated engine to a 3.6 liter V6 twin turbo. Performance rating significantly increased from generation to generation, and the KN GTS really sets the bar in the SUV segment. The current KN generation is returning to the V8, which now comes for the first time as a V8 twin turbo engine with a power of 460 PS. It completes the classic sprint from 0 to 100 km per hour in an impressive 4.5 seconds. This means substantial improvements in the longitudinal as well as the lateral dynamics. For me, the GTS letters really bring a smile to my face.